Welcome back to SQL Basics. Last week we discussed self-joins and this week we will be looking at cross-apply and part of what we're going to be looking at here with cross-apply is doing the same example that we did with the self-join except we're going to be achieving it with cross-apply. We'll also be looking at a scenario in which we might want to apply cross-apply, not just the one that we looked at last week with self-joins, but also how we can uh, do some things with cross-apply that may be useful. So in this example, we're going to be using the self table. And so just as a review, the self table has uh, five rows and we have two columns and we have an ID column with five values. And then we have a val column of five values. And we see that um, this is the table we were using as well with the, the self join. So the first thing about cross apply is that we can cross apply if we cross apply self table that is to itself and we can see the effects of what's going to happen with the ids so if we go back to this table here we're just looking at the effect that's going to happen with the id so we can see how this comes out and we can see that what occurs is for every value in the table so for every set of one two three four five it applies each of these values so for every one two three four five one is applied five times, two is applied five times, three is applied five times, four is applied five times, and five is applied five times, right? So it is cross applying the tables on the values, right? And that's what's occurring here. Now, of course, I know a lot of people would think, well, where where would be a practical example of where we would ever want to use in, uh, something like this? And I think the, probably the most common example that I use is, is getting the most recent transaction with the SQL handle. But honestly, with like, let's say a report, one of the easiest things that you can do with cross apply, though, I would invert this in, in this example here, where I would have T2 ID first and T1 um, uh, next, but it really would be T2 value and, and T1 value. Let's suppose that I wanted to compare every month of the year to every other month, including itself. So starting with January, Let's suppose that I wanted to compare January's value to January's value, February's value, March's value, April's value, May's value, so on and so forth, right? Now, in this example, we're only seeing five, but let's suppose this one represented January, right? So this, and let's suppose this was the first column. So January would be compared to January, January would be compared to yeah, February, January would be compared to March, and so on and so forth. And then the next month, then February would be compared to January, February would be compared to itself, and so on and so forth. You can see how cross-apply becomes very simple to do that, right? Uh, this is something that would occur on that table. Now, in this example, we have five values, and that's because as you see, it goes off the screen. That would be 144 values. But that's an example of where uh, cross-apply could be very useful. In last week's example, we had the self-join, and what we were doing was we were comparing uh, values to each other. So we were looking at the difference between values. And I'm not going to replicate the exact query, but we see that we can actually achieve the same thing with cross-apply here. So in this case, we're again, we're cross applying the self table to itself. And what we see is just like what we did last week, we did this with the inner join. This week, what we're doing is we're simply saying where T1 ID equals T2 ID minus one. Again, it's the same fundamental logic. And we see that because we see table one ID here is one, but table two ID is two. And we see 10 and we see 12, these two different values. And so we can do again, the difference and calculate uh, the percent difference between those. So these are examples of where we can use cross-apply. Cross-apply can be uh, very useful in some of these situations, and it can be, especially if we go back to here, it can be a huge saver depending on what we're doing um, relative to our report if compared to if we were trying to do uh, some type of join where we had to recursively go through uh, the table multiple times, we see cross-apply would be able to do it a lot faster for that type of a comparison.